Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching Jurassic Park and the Lost World from 1997. This is the second movie in the Jurassic Park franchise. The last movie was absolutely amazing. I loved it. I had such a fun time watching it. Now, with this one, now what I'm thinking for this one is... It's kind of like an Alien 2 kind of thing, you know? Because, like, here's the thing. Why are we going back? Like, why are we going back to the island? Like, how how does this happen? Did we not learn our lesson from the first movie? I don't know anything about this movie, so I'm making a total guess here. The cast in this movie is going to be a brand new set of characters, and they heard about the island, and they're like, oh, bet, we're going to go check it out. If you're one of the characters from the last movie, why would you go back? Why? <laughs> Like in theory, this shouldn't happen again. Like, first movie, okay, that's cool. Lesson learned, though, okay? Second movie, shame on you, okay? If people die, shame on you. But anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon, as well as early access to the next two Jurassic Park movies will also be available on Patreon and YouTube membership, so click the join button down below. But anyways, let's get started. What about snakes? There aren't any snakes on the we're beach. Just, we're just vacationing on the island. Dude, she's about to get snatched up by a pterodactyl. Spell pterodactyl. No, you forgot the P. <laughs> oh no, they're about to just gang up on her and eat. Uh. She being eaten? Ah! Uh. That implies she she was being eaten, so RP Kathy. You know what? They're probably gonna have to go back for like research purposes or something. Whatever the reason is, this better be a valid reason. Dr. Malcolm! God. Oh God, they've grown up. What's about? <laughs> I don't either. This joint is yes. not. We have to go back. Okay. Well, not exactly. Was Grandpa sick? You were right and I was wrong there. Thank God for side B. Oh. For years, I've tried to keep it safe from human interference. Well, that's right, that's right. I mean, hopefully you've kept this island quarantined. He's just trying to protect the animals. But yeah, he does care about them. He's over making a profit on them. He just wants to make sure they're safe. Make sure the military just doesn't just go wipe them out. I've organized an expedition to go in and thank you and document them to make the most spectacular mm. living fossil. What do you mean, like with people? Yes. The animals won't even know they're there. Very low impact. You think that's a good idea? The carnivores are isolated in the interior of the island so the team can stay on the outer rim. I'm not making the same mistakes again. No, you're making, you're making all new ones. Yeah. Well, okay, so there's another island with dinosaurs, no fences this time. And you want to send people in? Mm -hmm. And who are these four lunatics that you're, mm -hmm. you're trying to con into this? You. Going to see, and in the end, I had to use my checkbook to get them there. But uh, there's. Oh, they're already there? Hoping that perhaps you might be the fourth. No, no. Yeah, I'd rather not. I'm good. British family on a yacht cruise stumbled across the island. We girl was injured. Oh, she's fine, she's fine. But. Uh, yeah, they landed on site B then, not the main island, so, okay, makes sense, they'd have, like, no idea. Of those animals alive and in their natural habitat? No. Uh, no, and I'm gonna contact the other three members of your team, and I'm gonna stop them uh, from going. Who's the paleontologist, by yeah. the way? We're the best people in so many fields. You didn't contact Sarah. But where's your phone? She's already there. Hmm. All right, well, now he's gonna go to save Sarah, so... You sent my girlfriend to this island alone? That's fucked up. But stop putting it on other people's headstones, oh, John. Oh, oh, come on, she'll be fine. Mm. She spent years. John just like doesn't care if people die. Like I feel like. It's not a research mm. expedition anymore. It's a rescue operation and it's leaving right now. Yeah. Okay, okay. Alright, alright, I see how they're going back. Dude, John is a goddamn villain, dude. He needs to go to prison, dude. He's gotten so many people killed. It's not like he has bad intentions, but he's just unaware. Like, how like, how would you think this was a good idea, John? Okay, he's trying to, like, 
you know, save, document the animals and stuff, but like, dog, leave them alone. Like, John has seen the danger firsthand. He knows how dangerous these dinosaurs are. And he, yeah, he still sent a research team there to go and document. Like, come on, dude. Like, he's not thinking about the people. He's thinking about the dinosaurs. I was with Nightline. I was in Rwanda, Chechnya, all over Bosnia. Thanks. Do some volunteer work with Green. Oh my god, this is, uh, this is, this is Vince Vaughn. He's so young. Honey, you found it. What took you so long? Sorry, I couldn't get a cab. Oh, I'll see. That's okay. Uh, uh, is she coming with us? I'm your daughter all the time, you know. You can't just abandon me whenever opportunity knocks. Gee, that hurts my feelings. Did your mom tell you to say that? Dr. Malcolm Dell. I could come with you. I could be a research assistant like I was in Austin. You're not coming. I'm sorry. You're not. You like to have kids, but you just don't want to be with them, do you? Ooh. She's gonna sneak on with us. She's gonna come and he's not even gonna know. And uh, he wants to drop us off and go anchor somewhere what offshore. Kind of Smart man. Uh, oh shit. Sarah! 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 I like how Jeff Goldblum's like the main character of this one now. Grant was a really good main character in the last one, but I'm happy Jeff Goldblum's like the focal point of this one now. Do you think your little dart gun's gonna work on these guys? Hell no. But these are uh, herbivores anyway. Oh my god, what if he just gets snatched right here? Just dies off this quick. Oh, who the f is this? Oh, is this Sarah? <laughs> She's just right here. Oh, that's a baby one. She can't not touch. She can't not touch. Why is she? Why she? Sarah! 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 What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> so negligent. Dinosaurs were characterized very early on as vicious lizards. There's a great deal of resistance. It's because they are. There's a great deal of resistance to the idea of them as nurturing parents. Well, yeah, when you leave them alone, they're probably nurturing parents. Dr. Malcolm, fire! Face camp! Who started a fire? Yeah. I just want oh my god. Oh, yep, that's right. You wow. practically told me to come here. No, I didn't. But you have no what idea. Do do? Lock her up for curiosity? Where do you think she gets it? Thank you, Sarah. Yeah, exactly. Directly from Sarah. And that's what's gonna get you both killed. You can be curious, but you can also be smart and cautious. There's a difference. I love that you rode in here on a white horse. I really do. It's very touching. Very dramatic. But I'm not leaving. You guys should definitely go, but I'm going to stay. No, you'll be back in five or six pieces. What bothers you is that I'm not afraid of this place, and you are. Because oh, I've seen what's here. You probably haven't ran into a T-Rex yet, or a Velociraptor. Oh, God, what the hell is this? Over. Cancel that order. This is a game trail, Mr. Rudlow. Carnivores hunt on game trails. Do you want to set up base camp or a buffet? All I want in exchange for my services is the right to hunt one of the Tyrannosaurs. A male, a buck, yeah. But I've been on too many safaris with rich dentists to listen to any more suicidal idea. Okay. No, no. Herbivore, late Cretaceous. Directly with its backbone, which is perfect for absorbing impact. Ooh. What are you doing? What is this? Dude, I feel so bad for these dinosaurs. Like, these are just a herbivores. Like, you can do this to a Velociraptor. I don't go about them. I mean, Velociraptors are pretty cool. But, like, there's no chance they're doing this to them. Hmm. You ready? Bro, that shotgun ain't doing shit. <laughs> that T-Rex is eating that. Where do you think you're going? To collect my fee, Mr. Ludlow, to collect my fee. You're a buffoon if you think you can kill a T-Rex with that goddamn shotgun. Oh my god, I would not be able to stand that many flies. That, oh my god. Oh my god, I could just feel it in my nose just thinking about it. The Rex nest. Infant's probably only a couple weeks old. 
Never left the nest. To get him to come where we want him. Yep. Still the baby. Up in that tree, it's perfect biting height. Like, dude, you're bringing a T-Rex near this base camp? Like, are you stupid? You can hear the baby T-Rex crying in the background of this scene right now. It's not far away. So they actually want to build another park here? They're not building anything. They're taking these animals out of here. Yep. They're back to the mainland. <sighs> that is a terrible idea. Told me these people might show up. I thought we'd be finished by the time they got started, but if they weren't, he did send a backup plan. What backup plan? What? Me? Halfway around the world to visit a zoo? You bring the zoo to them. <sighs> San Diego is the perfect... No, not San Diego. <laughs> Whose dumbass idea is it to bring dinosaurs back to the mainland? That is the worst possible decision of all time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, we're letting all them free. This operation. And ready to receive visitors in less than a month. Damn, what a wait, this guy's a dumbass, dude. He just left that baby T Rex there. He didn't even like Vince Vaughn went to go take care of it, right? But this guy just left it there, like knowing that the T Rex is on its way to find his baby. We're not alone on this island. Like, if it wasn't for Vince Vaughn taking this baby T Rex away from, from next to their camp, then this T Rex would come through and just run through your camp too, looking for its baby. And you guys are especially vulnerable now with all your equipment just being trashed like that. Like, bro, you're dead. You're an idiot for leaving the baby there. You're an idiot for even having the baby that close to the camp anyway. Let's go. Go, go, go. Come on. Watch his tail. Get the oh, dude. Malcolm's gonna freak. He's gonna check his back right here. Watch his head. Watch his head. No, honey. Watch his head. He's no, no, honey. No. Watch his tail. Oh, <laughs> poor baby. His ankle bone. He could oh. run or even walk. A predator will pick him up before he's a couple weeks old. Dad, I gotta get out of here, please. I wanna get out of here. I wanna go somewhere safe. No, 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 I wanna go. There we go. I don't know how safe this thing is, though, dude. No. There she is. I'm coming right back. I give you my word. But you never keep your word. Oh. This time he will. He will this time. Okay, okay, okay. We Cool, we got this cute little T-Rex cast. Cool. It's all patched up. Now we're just gonna dump him out of the door and then and then Mama can go pick him up. Now, I feel like the Mom T-Rex would tear that shit off its leg because it doesn't know what it is. <laughs> oh, actually, we're really high up. Actually. Oh, we're chilling up here. Yeah, we're fine. T-Rex would never notice us up here. Unless we're being hella loud and waving a flashlight all over the place. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a cliff right here? What? very angry. Why the f are we right by a goddamn cliff? Whose fucking idea was it to set up camp right by a cliff? <laughs> Just slowly close that blind. I'm Just gonna slowly close this. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, no. There's two of them, mom and daddy. They see their baby in there. Okay, just open the door and throw his ass out. They came for their infants. Oh my god. Oh, what's up? Oh, get the, get the fuck back inside. Get the fuck back inside. So that should make an interesting chapter in your book, huh? I, I think that the debate over the parental instincts of the T-Rex is now academic. Hang on, this is gonna be bad. What? Oh! Wait, they're coming back? Just over the cliff. Bro, they really just peeled back like that. These dinosaurs are petty. <laughs> oh shit. <sighs> oh no, it's gonna fall and that's, that's what's gonna crack the window. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, right, he caught her. He caught her. Ian! No, I hope this guy doesn't get eaten. I like him. I think he's pretty chill. What is it? What do you think? Coming. Now, now, run. Hey, are you all right? <laughs> I'm coming. Pretty cool shot. Uh, I'll tie your truck to it and put that shit in reverse. It's not going to be able to pull it all the way, but it will hold it in place for just long enough to where they can climb up. Oh, no, 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 no. That rope might give out. Ooh. Dude, he's trying so hard. I respect it. Once they all get out, you just gotta open your door and bail out of this truck because that shit's going down. Ooh. All right, all right. Oh, okay, okay. I underestimated this truck. <laughs> all right, if I'm, I'm Malcolm, I'm saying, all right, I'm going first. And then I'm climbing over them and I'm getting oh. Oh, is it you two me back? Bro, these f these f are so petty. Oh oh he moved, he moved. Oh dude. Dude, he's trying his absolute best. Oh, he's got split in half. All right, well, they're all gonna die now, so what the f Oh, they're still connected to the tree by the on the rope. All right, I guess we're just gonna hang out on this rope until these T-Rexes go away. Oh, the other camp found them. Okay. Stuck here, ladies and gentlemen, and stuck together thanks to you people. And we came here to watch. You came to strip mine the place. Yeah. Back to looter mentality. All you care about is what you can take. You have no rights. That's not the problem. Huh. What is the problem? Problems. I'm not drunk. Velociraptors. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh wait till they come in. Arguably, the Velociraptors are more dangerous than the T-Rexes, just because there's more Velociraptors. At once. He won't do that. He knows better. Then we head for the village. We might find some shelter, and we can call for help. Rex just fed, so he won't stalk us for food. Okay, look, I don't like this guy, but he seems like he knows how to survive. He's a man's man, so I'm, we're, we're going to listen to him for now. Seeking his grass, mine does not. Taking dinosaurs off this island is the worst idea in the long, sad history of bad ideas. Mm -hmm. and, uh... That is literally the worst idea in human history. Bringing them back to life... It's pretty close, pretty close. Bringing them off the island back to the mainland, that's that's definitely number one. No, oh, he's gonna get picked off right here, huh? Hey, caught up! Ooh. Damn. He's gonna get picked out, yep. He's gonna get picked off by all these little things. Ah, yes! I feel like that'd be such a slow, painful death because they're not just like biting a limb off at once, you know, like ripping you in half. Now they're just slowly picking at you. Oh. Oh, okay, they give up. Damn. Yeah, I guess they're like not vicious enough to really kill you because their bites are so tiny and everything. Oh, okay, now he's gonna get eaten alive. Now he's gonna get eaten by them. Yeah, they're not gonna show him die. Ooh, yeah, okay, they got his ass. Miss Harding, no one tells a little girl. Mm. They hear her? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I mean, all you can do is just not move at this point. Oh no, she's gonna freak. Ah, 
surprised like no one else sleeping has woken up and then freaked the f out. Ah! Yep. Oh, no! oh, just stepped on him. Ah! Okay, a lot of people here have guns. This is when you start just blasting it in the face. Ah, oh, but it can lick you. Ah. <gasps> oh shit. Oh my god. Ah, it's a snake. Shit out of you. I mean, bro, it's just a snake. Like, it's not. <laughs> oh no, I got him. Ah, oh, I got his arm because he freaked out. It's coming back. Oh, uh, wait. Now we're in this field. This one. Yeah, I was gonna walk the raptor and start getting this on. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, it's just gonna pick them off one by one. It's just gonna run by, get someone else, run by, get some, you know. Oh, that's. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> <laughs> kick it in the face, kick it in the nose right now. Mm. Who can dig faster? You are the velociraptor. Oh god, dude. There's no way you dig a big enough. Uh, I would just start kicking the bottom of the fence. That's just wood. Just start kicking it and breaking it through. That probably, that probably wouldn't work. Oh, yep, yeah, oh, yeah, that would easily work. Yeah, right. Bro, they dug so fucking much. Oh my god. I'm out. I'm right behind you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Kelly, no! Kill it. Oh, yeah, she was a gymnast. That's right. <laughs> She's gonna swing on the pole and kick that. Oh. Yeah. Hell yeah. He did. The school cut you from the team? You should be put on varsity just for that. <laughs> Dumbass. Oh no. Oh, oh, they're fighting each other though. Let's go. Perfect. Rescue. Oh, Alright, they came. They got here quick too. Damn. Find the infantryanosaur. Ronan can show you where the nest is. Hmm. They still, yeah. They still want to take it. Oh my god, they're taking this T-Rex. Oh my god, no they're not. There's no possible way you can contain this thing. You've got your trophy! Nah, he wanted to kill it. What's the matter? He didn't make it. Well, what'd you expect? You expect no casualties? It's naive. Okay, alright dude, I can't wait till this dinosaur just wakes up and just... Literally just gets up and walks away and then just caught, just terrorizes the city. Just because it can. There's nothing we can do about it. The ship, it's here. It's out It's... You better come on. Having complications on the ship? Skipper, SS Venture, you are approaching they, the break wire. Okay, wait. Do they take more than just the T-Rex? Because the T-Rex must have got... Well, I feel like the T-Rex is too big to like just start killing everyone on the ship. And it was locked up pretty good on the line. But if they brought smaller dinosaurs like Alfred, oh, they just killed everyone on that ship. If they brought back a Velociraptor, Use oh, it's, it's over. It's over. SS oh, they're going to crash because everyone on that ship is f***ing dead. Can't even see it because of the fog, but it's going to be right there. <gasps> oh! oh my god. <laughs> dead. The crew? All over the place. Yep. No, don't open that. Check the cargo hold. No. There may be crew down there. They're dead. No, no, get away from that. No, no. Oh. <laughs> and he's free. Okay, but there has to be more than just a T-Rex. There has to be a Veloc Velociraptor, because how could they have killed the captain up in the captain's deck? Oh, smart idea to jump in the water. That T-Rex is not going in that water. <laughs> if the T-Rex was in water, I don't, could it swim? I don't think it could. No, you're John Hammond. Because how could have the T-Rex killed the captain and everyone in the captain's deck? You know, it's too big. To... Why the hell wasn't 
keeping it tranquilized. It was, Brent. 10 milligrams should have put it into a coma. It stopped breathing, <laughs> so we gave it naltrazone to counteract the effects. Oh, my God. All the containment equipment is here. We've got to get it back to the dock. The boat might still be seaworthy. All right, all right. Am I thinking what you're about to when say? When we brought the baby to the trailer, it came. Oh, There's no mistakes. reason to... So we got to go get the baby to bait the mom back to the boat. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Imagine just... You're just an innocent family, and then it's just a f***. T-Rex in your backyard now. <laughs> Imagine his <as a> kid. <laughs> no, don't get the dog. Don't get the dog. Okay, yeah, go hide, go hide. Oh, oh no, I got the dog. No. Bro, this is not big at all for all dinosaurs. Like when they were showing the just a scale model i was i was thinking the same thing like this is tiny but i guess they only want to have a couple like you know, whatever i think when the adult sees that it's us once again with his baby uh this is gonna be like you yeah how will we find the adult uh, follow the screams <laughs> <laughs> follow the screams <laughs> that's not food Yeah, what if you rammed it with a bus? Like, that bus is at full speed and then... <laughs> Dr. Malcolm! Left it and fit it on the boat for the T-Rex to follow and they did. The baby T-Rex is gonna get him. There you are. It's vicious enough to kill him though. Oh wait, Momo. Oh, he's gonna try and get away. Nope. It's gonna let the baby eat. Yep. Yep, lock it. Come on, get a shot off though before that stuff before it closes. Take a couple minutes to kick in, but it'll be out like a baby. We won't give it anything to offset it this time. <laughs> the man who has come forward to spearhead this movement, not only to return these animals to their island, but to keep the island itself intact. For the preservation and isolation of that island. Mm-hmm. These Insanely isolated. Require our absence. Yes. Survive, not island. Life. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we finally realized that, John. Yeah. Oh, first pterodactyl. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, well that was Jurassic Park, The Lost World. I thought this was a very, very solid sequel to the first one. I like how we actually went into the city this time. See, that's like... That's what I said a lot in the first movie, like, thank God there's an entire body of ocean between this island and the mainland. They did it. They brought a T-Rex to the mainland, and that was absolutely disastrous. That's worst case scenario. Who thought that was a good idea? They should be executed. Okay, not really, but like, they should be in prison. It was the dude who got killed by the baby, by the infant T-Rex. Well, he's dead now, so he did get executed, actually, by his own negligence. So I really liked how Jeff Goldblum was the main star of this movie. That was really refreshing. I really enjoyed Grant in the last movie, but I feel like we didn't get enough of Jeff Goldblum because he really only had like one chase scene from the T-Rex. And it was really just Grant, Ellie, and the kids who are avoiding the dinosaurs at the time in the last movie. So I'm happy Jeff Goldblum actually got to do that a lot more in this one. That was fun to see. It was very fun to see. I will say though, I do like the first one more. This one holds up really well to the first one, but I think the first one's still a bit better. So comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments. And if you like the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.